Hi everyone, I hope that these times got you well and safe. My name is Miruna and two years ago I started volunteering at GoFree, the Association for the Support of the Civil Society, which is a really cool NGO based in Cluj, Napoca, Romania. Here at GoFree we promote the democratic values, respect for diversity, solidarity and social justice, but we also support minorities to take action themselves and speak up against social injustice. In this video, I want to present you a tool that we use at GoFree to reach our aforementioned goals. That's right, community journalism. You will find out what it is, who can practice it, where, but also how to prepare your documentation. First, community journalism is the type of journalism that reflects real problems that people living in multi-ethnic communities have to face in their daily lives. But we also gather positive stories. This tool was developed within the project Community Journalists for Social Solidarity Street and awarded for its impact on combating hate speech. So, who is the community journalist? The answer is anyone, regardless of studies. It could be, for example, middle or high school students. The community journalist listens to the stories of the community and prioritizes people's topics of interest that will be documented and developed in media material. Now, when I say media material, I mean videos, articles, interviews, magazines, photo reports, short news, narratives, investigations, or anything that would help the community journalists give visibility to the documented problem, raise awareness of it, and reach more people in order to take action. The vulnerable groups like the LGBT, Roma, or people with no access to water or electricity are presented by the mass media from a negative perspective. What the community journalists do is storytell, and that's why they choose not to show indifference to a problem that they put out, but to take an attitude towards it. This type of journalism is subjective, authentic, and anchored in the community, and eventually it becomes the voice of that community. In the course of time, GoFree volunteers traveled through Transylvania to places like Rosia Montana to collect stories, but went also around Cluj Napoca to find out more about marginalized groups like the Roma community or youth groups with fewer opportunities. And here comes the most important part of community journalism preparation. Because some of the documentations might require longer trips and overnight stays, you will need to look for bus schedules, routes, places to stay, and to follow a range of steps to reach the results you want. Okay, so let's start with step number one. Get informed. It is essential to start by searching for the history of the community, either from the internet or from locals, relatives, friends. At GoFree, we also participate in street lab trainings where we find out about terms like discrimination, prejudice, about communities and many more. Number two, back up your tools. You will need a recorder or anything that can record sounds. If you have a smartphone, it would work as well. Then you will need a pen and a small notebook to write down details about people's gestures, words, phrases, the general atmosphere, etc. And you will need a photo or a video camera. 3. Find a trustworthy person in the community. This way, people will be more open to answering your questions and remember that you will be seen as a stranger at first. Someone trusted could be someone working in a public institution like a teacher. Also, for example, in Roma communities, knowing some words in Romani language will help you communicate with the people and get their sympathy. 4. Listen to what the community tells you. Your attention is important for your future material, but also for the people themselves. And pay attention to language. Your questions should be clear and don't forget to ask one question at a time, because otherwise the interlocutor will get lost. Now, when I write here one plus, I mean, take at least one more community journalist with you when documenting on the field, because you might need help. One journalist can take pictures, while another one takes notes and records the interview, for example. And ask for permission when it comes to taking pictures, using people's voices or identities, and tell them your purpose. If they don't agree, use voice modifiers, change names, write only the initials, or simply keep it anonymous. After an interview is finished, go on with the discussion and keep in touch with the people you met. 
This video has been created within the School of Community Journalism Street, supported by the European Solidarity Corps program. For more info, feel free to contact us on the social platforms and check our website. Also, in the present context of the pandemic, please don't forget to show solidarity, act responsibly and stay home.